Hey guys, so I wanted to go over um, building stronger and more functional shoulders. As you guys can see, I like to incorporate a lot of uh, Olympic movements. Now, I'm not like proficient in any way with these, but you know, I'm doing the best that I can. And I do have a slight Olympic lifting background with my athletic background for years before I started powerlifting. But with the merging of powerlifting and I guess lack of mobility work and exercise, you know, I've gotten tight over the years. So now I'm trying to incorporate these again. So getting back on topic, I am doing these to not only just work on the mobility and the stability, but to be explosive as well. So it's an athletic movement. Um, now I'm focusing more on the shoulder part of it. So I'm only doing like a little pop into it. I'm not like doing a drastic split jerk and getting way underneath the bar. Okay, that's not the goal. The goal is to build the shoulders, but at the same time, I'm working on all those little tiny things that you guys are seeing here. And this is a big one, um, besides the push jerk, is a behind-the-neck snatch press. So, as you can tell, it's just like a little bit of knee and hip bend. I'm creating a, a force into the bar using my posterior chain and sending the bar up overhead. But then... Not only is it, you know, forcing my shoulders to lock out, but it's also causing them to be in a proper position, a more mobile and flexible position. So my recommendation is if you guys have extremely tight shoulders, you have bad shoulders, you don't want to start with this one by any means. You want to start with something in front. You want to get a band and start doing band pull-aparts behind the head band rollovers which go behind the head and down the back but you know I'll, I'll have to make another video to show you guys how to do those so then that way you can ease into this because this is an exercise like if you go right into it you could possibly hurt yourself and like a lot of shoulder injuries are due to immobility and instability so if you don't have either of those the injury is most likely going to happen so if you have like an interior rotation which means you know you're doing nothing but chest nothing but bench press dumbbell presses it's pulling your shoulder forward rather than in its proper proper position in the back so that's what's going on and that's what's causing the injury so something like this is helping me get my shoulders back into position back to where they want to be in mobile and Again, that's why I like this exercise. Um, on top of that, once you get all of that, then you can start increasing the weights. You can start moving up the ladder just little by little so you can increase strength and whatnot. But um, this is the last exercise I did on my shoulder day, and it's just a standard log clean and press. Now, instead of focusing on just the press itself with one clean up, I decided to do... Um, three sets of five, full clean and press. And this is just to get the body firing, warm, get the lungs pumping. Um, I was looking for just the full body aspect of it. You know, I was a little sore from my deadlifts on Sunday, but um, honestly, if anything, this helped me loosen up, helped me get everything just, yeah, you know, back in working order and some blood flow. And I really like the aspect of working the little bit of cardio. It's not a ton, but, you know, the more cardio that you're going to involve, the better the recovery. You're going to have higher red blood cells. You're going to get nutrients and so on into the muscle. And it's an active recovery, you know. So, like, it's just a good thing to do where don't, you know, shy away or stray away from cardio. I think it's very necessary, even for power lifters. Strong men do it a good bit because like of their events and how quick they have to move from event to event and doing their medleys. So it needs to be incorporated, but you know, why I'm doing this besides the cardio aspect is time under tension as well. The time under tension with my shoulders pulling on the weight and pressing the weight. So the more time under tension, more muscle fiber gets torn down and broken down, the bigger and stronger the shoulder becomes. But that is that, you guys. If you guys don't already, please follow me on Instagram at Paul Yeoman. Please follow the gym on Instagram at the underscore basement gym. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the hoisting channel here. We have more content coming. And if there's anything else you guys want to see, you want to hear, you want to listen to, Please feel free, reach out, you can comment below, or even shoot me a message.
All right. Thanks again for watching, guys.